there's definitely that like moment in suit where you're like, wow, like this is my life. This is really like what I get to do every day. You get to do things that no other student gets to do. It's electric. It really is something that can change your life. As soon as you put the head on, you become a different person. Hey, you could be larger than Sebastian is a guy, so I think they'll be surprised to see that somebody who's not a guy can portray a male character. It is a big deal. I'm a girl, I'm sitting here, I did it, so it's not that it can't be done. You know you the Miami Hurricanes football team is recognized across the country, and anyone who spent time at the University of Miami knows the most famous Canes fan, Sebastian Ibis. In Miami, like, Sebastian is like kind of like a celebrity. Sebastian, UM's big feathery mascot, means a lot to fans and the community. But what you may not realize is what he means to the people inside of the suit. Being Sebastian has been the greatest part of my college experience, without a doubt, hands down, like, nothing comes close to it. You feel the energy when you get people pumped up. Everyone just goes crazy. It's awesome. It's like basketball games and football games. Like you're just standing there and you have an entire crowd of people just like cheering you on. You only get that as a mascot. But it's Maddie's experience that stands out above the others. A day in the life of Sebastian. <laughs> Even from the flock of Sebastian she graduated with in May 2022. My mom always like texts me and like reminds me, she's like, you're making history. That's because her journey into becoming Sebastian marked the first time in more than 40 years that a woman put on the iconic Miami mascot suit. But to understand what makes Maddie unique, we have to go back to the beginning, when Sebastian was just a hatchling. You see, Sebastian isn't Miami's original mascot. Rewind to the 1940s. Back then, the mascot was Hurricane One, a 65-pound boxer. But in 1958, UM ditched the dog, and an ibis flew onto the scene. The original ibis mascot was created by a student named John Stormont. They called the bird Icky, but that didn't last. Students voted to rename the bird after the dorm Stormont lived in, San Sebastian Hall. So he became Sebastian the Ibis. For years, being Sebastian wasn't a secret society of mascots. Instead, it was a club on campus that any UM student could join. Sindra Sasso was one of those students in the late 70s. It was no secret back then. There was no tryouts. You just went out. That was it. Your tryout was put the costume on and go do it. We had females. We had males. We were pretty equal. It wasn't a big deal. We, we just, we did it because we loved it. Not long after Sindra graduated, the group of students willing to be Sebastian shrunk. That was when the Miami Athletic Department took the mascot program under its wing, making it more formal and hiring John Ruth, a professional mascot. I was brought down, hired to be the maniac first. In the early 80s, legendary Canes baseball coach Ron Frazier wanted a mascot specifically for his team called the Miami Maniac. Ruth was hired to bring that character to life. The Maniac character is a little crazier. The Sebastian is more of a, a tough character, and, and the Maniac can do those wild and crazy things. By 1984, Ruth was such a hit as the Maniac that he also began playing Sebastian, starting a tradition that stands today. One person playing both mascots. He also transformed Sebastian into the character fans know and love today, updating the look and creating new traditions like the Kane Spellout. I did everything for almost 10 years, um, but you know now with, with the, the demands on Sebastian, you need two or three people uh, for sure to be able to, to uh, uh, make sure that someone can be at every event. People don't realize Sebastian does like weddings and birthday parties and stuff, like he can do anything. Ruth hung up his feathers in 1993. That's when the athletics department revamped the program and turned it over to a team of students to help out. Our goal is to always have the team be a cohesive unit because we're all representing one character. A former Sebastian himself, Will LaRosa is the coach of this team. But joining it comes with a catch. Everybody lives a double life, but one of the two lives are the same. People who join the flock have to keep it a secret. 
and they take it really seriously. What can't you tell us? There's so much I can't tell you. <laughs> Why? Because it'll blow the whole operation. My lips are sealed. I don't have anything for you. Nothing, no. no. How many suits? How no. many people are there? None of that. It's a secret because we don't want like, oh, look, Jake did this crazy thing. It's like, no, like Sebastian did this crazy thing. It's like, we are Sebastian. We're not Jake. We're not Madison. It's such a secret that they wouldn't even let us in to record the auditions. We have a tryout process. You actually put the suit on. You have to come in with a one minute skit and then a one minute dance routine. Then there's an interview process at the end of the tryout. But if any UM student can try out, why was Maddie the first female mascot in over 40 years? We've had girls try out in the past and um, you know we always just look for the people that you know, do the best job and have the best enthusiasm. And Maddie, you know, had that enthusiasm probably more than anybody else. It's just tough because I'm a tall girl. I'm 5'9", 5'10". And a lot of the girls who do try out are like five feet. It's not because you're a girl that like we don't take you. It's just because like we all do have to look the same in suit. And aside from the look, there's also the physical demands. It's a tough job. I do the same thing the guys do. Like, we have to be able to kind of, like, be athletic, keep that stamina. And for three years, Maddie did it, and she had everyone fooled. Sometimes, Miami's mascot was a girl. First time I met her, she did a wonderful job. Uh, and I asked several people afterwards, did you notice anything different about Sebastian? And they said, no, what do you mean? I think, honestly, the reason Maddie has been able to be successful is because she doesn't really set herself apart. It's nothing we ever think about of like, oh, Maddie's the girl. We are virtually identical in suit. You can tell they all look the same. Like, you cannot tell the difference between us. Maddie had accomplished something that nobody could know and nobody could celebrate <laughs> until graduation day. So graduation, we wear our feet and our jersey, and we go up on stage, we do a spell out. I have been thinking about this for three years now. This is the moment where Maddie revealed her identity. When she came out and revealed it was her, we were shook about it, but at the same time, we knew it would be her because it was really fitting for her personality. It's also when the pride really sunk in. The joy she brings inside that suit to people that she never know, she doesn't know or may never see again, but she absolutely made their day. And so that's kind of cool to watch as a parent. Have you guys seen this have an impact on her in any way? Um, I think it's really helped her grow. I think um, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. You always want your daughter to be, feel like empowered and like, you know, there's no roadblocks. You can do anything you want. And we say those words, right? But it's harder to put it into action. Um, and so to watch her put it into action has been kind of a surreal three years for us. But it wasn't always easy for Maddie. Definitely a few times there's been where like people don't believe me. Like people who hire Sebastian, like pay money for Sebastian. And they're like, it's not you, is it? There were times it was hard for her, you know, being the only girl in a group. She wanted to be treated the same. She wanted no special treatment. And I think the guys treated her <laughs> like one of the guys, like of the guys. Yeah. yeah. And after three years of Sebastian, Maddie's legacy lives on outside the suit. It opens the doors for other kids who may not have ever wanted to break that barrier, but now that door is open. And so someone sitting at home right now who knows Maddie is like, hey, I could go do that. It's kind of like an, an end of a chapter in your life and you can kind of look back at it and be like, yeah, I did that. Hey, you could be larger than